One of the many people that I've been learning from is Reverend Dr. Wilda Gaffney, Episcopalian priest, Hebrew biblical scholar, a woman of African descent, a leader among those whose voices are not dominant. I recently listened to one of her YouTube teachings and I had to smile because she uses the term mythos in place of ethos when making reference to those whose voices are dominant in biblical circles. What I learned from Reverend Dr. Wilda Gaffney this week, in addition to the term mythos, is that the Hebrew scriptures, which we commonly refer to as the first or the Old Testament, come from a people who straddled the Afro-Asiatic world. The Hebrew people share a common history, an ancient culture, and a striking geographical feature. There is a tectonic plate which stretches from the south around the Red Sea on the continent of Africa, all the way up to the Jordan River Valley and beyond. A tectonic plate which actually created the Jordan River Valley. Tectonic plates, for those who aren't familiar, are underground spaces where the plates of the earth don't quite line up. These are the spaces where earthquakes happen. These are the spaces where the ground shakes herself open. According to an article in Nat Natural History magazine, an article which was written by two authors, Zizvi Ben Abraham, a man who also straddles the Afro-Asiatic world, Tisby is the director of the Minerva Dead Sea Research Center and a professor in Tel Aviv University. The co-author is Susan Ho, a seismologist in Pasadena, California. And the authors write in this article that several million years ago, tectonic forces began to create an Edenic corridor. Edenic, as in the Garden of Eden, as in unspoiled, idyllic. An Edenic corridor that led the early humans out of Africa north and into the Near East. 